you know, these kind of things that happen to you, these very extreme situations that, that are very hard to overcome, these big obstacles, these things end up being some of the best things that happen to you. And I'm a real firm believer that you're not gonna find one really successful person out there that doesn't have a real story of overcoming obstacles. Because just like in the weight room, without resistance, you can't grow. You know, your muscles are not gonna grow without weight and resistance. Your mental fortitude and strength and ability and skills are not gonna grow without resistance. And that's why every single person you meet who is very successful athlete or a very successful business guy or whatever, they have a story of overcoming extreme obstacles, okay? It's not because they're making them up. It's because those obstacles are what eventually help determine and develop and you know create the skills and the fortitude and the persistence that's needed to succeed. You guys, if you could develop the perspective of your obstacles actually being a workout for your brain, for your fortitude, for your intensity, for your ability to persevere and see them as a benefit as opposed to seeing them as some negativity or an obstacle or some sort of thing that's holding you back, how much more positive would you feel about your journey? How much more positive would you feel if every time someone stood in your way or every time a situation didn't work out, you didn't look at it as like, oh shit, man, this situation sucks, blah, blah, blah. No, you say, you know what, this is great because I have an opportunity to grow. I have an opportunity to get stronger. I have an opportunity to get better that my competitors and the people that I'm gonna be competing against my entire fucking life don't have, which puts me in an extreme advantage. You know, there's two ways to fucking have a zero option mentality. There's one way you could be injured and literally not have a choice. Your choice is to either get better or fucking be in a wheelchair or be handicapped or be physically disabled for the rest of your life. But in success, People who are extremely driven, extremely successful, and extremely well accomplished, they have the ability to mentally flip that switch to where they don't have a choice but to do the things they need to do. If you talk to them, it will sound really fucking weird, okay? Because they'll talk as if they don't have a choice. They will talk as if they don't succeed, the world is going to fucking end. And they have, they have conditioned themselves to believe this as fact, okay? They think that if they don't succeed, their world will end. And you know what? Their world will end because that's how much fucking pride and how much focus and how much intensity and how much drive and how much value they put on success. To where if they don't get to where they wanna go, their life will have been a waste. And guys, I'm telling you right now, success is hard. Being successful is very, very hard. It takes every fucking bit of your focus, every bit of your energy, every bit of your concentration, every single bit of your fucking soul is required to get where you wanna go. Your obstacles are there to teach you, they're there to mold you, they're there to forge you into a fucking machine. But unfortunately, most people don't look at obstacles that way. They look at obstacles as this negative thing. Life hates me, the universe hates me, God hates me, I'm unlucky, I'm, I'm the worst that there is. Bad things only happen to me. And that's because you're choosing to see things the wrong way. You're choosing to pick the perspective of you're a victim as opposed to being a fucking battle-hardened motherfucking warrior that is going to kick ass and you are so thankful for these obstacles that they are gonna make you stronger, more effective, and more successful over the course of your life. I challenge you guys to see your obstacles as a great thing. I challenge you guys to see your problems as a great thing. I challenge you guys to quit being victims and fucking pussies and whiny little crybabies about every bad thing that happens to you and start being thankful that you have the opportunity to grow, get stronger, get more focused, get more skilled, and kick more ass because of every hardship you face.